black nut sticks together. Hey folks, Johnny Valentine here with another solar installation at a uh, undisclosed location. Gain Solar and Practical Preppers, doing it one more time. Got our uh, Schleder mount going up right there, and uh, Brian on the excavator. Scott doing his very best to rake that ditch. Just poured the concrete, dug those holes real nice. <clears throat> got our electric line in there, or uh, got our cable buried, and then we got our warning tape. We're raking trenches. Chris is over here cooking, cooking. It's the prepper's kitchen, folks. You know you gotta eat right if you're gonna work right. And the only way to do that was a USDA grade beef. Folks, they've outlawed telling you where your steak's from, but we don't care. We still buy American. This, this stuff from this stuff from American guaranteed. Ain't that right? Yeah. <laughs> you can smell it. You can almost smell it. You can almost smell it. It's the prepper's kitchen once again. Yeah. It's the prepper's kitchen. Got us a little different grill here, folks. Flashing? It's flashing. Yeah, we're we're mid install. We'll have more uh, more video of this job. We're gonna have a three, little over three kW, 3300 watt solar array going in. 12 panels, Ceneva 275s, and uh, it's gonna be feeding Outback FM80 charge controller and an Outback Radian. We're gonna mount everything over there next to the rest of the electrical equipment. Thanks for watching. All right, Engineer 775, he's commandeered the homeowner's tractor, and he's learning on the fly. So we'll see what he does here. We're hoping he's not going to uh, make any false moves on this flat ground with this shiny new tractor. Going to get these batteries out. Got a big old set of crown. It was a dicey operation. Almost nailed the kitchen. Tearing up the world again. Got our Crown L16s. Woohoo! These are the crowns, L16s. solar array got a full-on kitchen upgrade stainless steel stove got some chicken going toasting the buns we got some Philadelphia cream cheese we got rolls you know what happens when you take Philadelphia cream cheese and put it on a roll with steak Philly cheese steak in the prepper's kitchen. Scott's gonna show how to show them how we make these prepper this prepper sandwich. It's called a Philly cheese steak. I've never had 
presented that way, boss. Fill it up your cream cheese on the steak. How is that not a cream steak? I don't think that's what they meant by it. Make sure not to get your metal shavings in the... Uh, I lost my knife. There's my knife right there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Everybody else can use it. Look at that. Spread it on thick. Lest you choke on your sandwich. Way better. And way manlier. Absolutely. Grab it and growl. Hide it up with pickles yet. <laughs> Pardon me, sorry. Look at that. Pardon me. Sorry. Gotta place it like that. Pickles too. When you work, awesome. Dill too. They're dill. They're not those bread and sweet butters. Too big a sweet pickle on Gaines Holder's job site. Get run off. Travis. Travis. There he is. What's up, Travis? That's like a dill relish. And there's also tapping fluid. And this is for cut tapping fluid. fluid. Yeah, I want some of that hydraulic fluid out of the Harbor Freight. And this is there for you texture. Go. Texture right there. Look at that. And that's what? called a that's called a Philly cheesesteak with chips. Boom. <laughs> and that's called optimization when you squish it like that. I mean, thank you. Boom. There's your cook. <laughs> This has been another episode of the Prepper's Kitchen. We're so happy you could join us on this blustery, <laughs> on this blustery January day. We'll show the solar array real quick. Generator plug. It's wet out here too. The water table's like three feet down. When we dug the holes for the sledders, they filled with water. Boom. 3.3 kW. It's a Neva solar array with a shutter ground mount. Outback radium. Grid tie battery backup power system. Hey folks, Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar Services. We just completed another grid tie battery backup installation with the Outback radium. Got our GS8048A 8000 watt grid tie battery backup inverter. With our Mate 3 FlexMax 80 charge controller. It's taking a uh, 3300 watt ground mounted solar array and charging batteries and selling back to the grid. Got our dedicated loads sub panel right here with um, all their lights, fridge, freezers, well pumps, such. Ooh, the sun just came out. Lucky us. We've been waiting for the sun to come out all day. Um, got our nice little electrical wiring trough, wire way. The battery cables going into our uh, battery box. I'll show you our battery here. We've got a uh, the Crown 395 amp hour, 8 6 volt batteries with an automatic watering kit and a vent fan. And um, she's wired in series and she's ready to go. So I'm out here with the solar now. This is our 3300 watt solar array. It's, uh, we use Cineva modules and Schletter ground mount got it nice and high so he can get his tractor uh, around and they might want to do some stuff under underneath it it's real wet now so uh, we're happy to get our work done before this weather comes in DC disconnect lightning arrester um, that wiring trough right there for future expansion she's labeled up she's ready to go just passed inspection we sure are happy about that and over here let me show you real quick here's our trench we got our AC disconnect for utility operation. And we have our DC disconnect where the solar goes into the house. And that fancy looking button right there is to turn the inverter off for emergency responders. So this is our system, Gain Solar Services. We love doing these kind of ground mounts, battery systems. Call us, we'll get you a quote. We can sell you material or we can do full installation. Um, and we'd have, we just love doing the work.
Happy 2016, folks. Gain Solar here. We're back on another remote location. Just put up another little agricultural backup power system. We got us a 3.3 kW solar array comprised of 12 270 watt Suniva uh, OPT 275s. She's pushing out the power, folks. It's the first time the sun's peaked out all day, and we sure are happy to see her. Come on over. Let me show you the other back side of my sweater here. I'm trying to jog through the mud. We got that good sandy loam. Here she is, folks. She's sturdy as a as a brick house. She's got her DC disconnect. She's all labeled up, wire and trial for future expansion. Plan on putting us a southwest array in next year. We got her six foot, six and a half in the ground. She's got over eight yards of concrete, folks. They had to pull 15 trucks down the driveway just to get this thing in. She's ready to go. Plenty of ground clearance. Come on over here. Let me show you what I got. I got my DC disconnect. I got my transfer switch. I got my generator transfer switch right there. There's another panel right there. Got my DC disconnect from a solar array, and I got my rapid shutdown button. When you hit the red button, you better feel safe. Take you inside next. Now I got you in the mech room, folks. We've got her all piped. She's hard piped. She's ready to go. We got our GS80488. She's, she's slick. She's got all the bells. She's got all the whistles. Fans are barely running. Got my Mate 3. Got my Flex Max 80 right here, charging from a 3300 watt solar array. Got her in a nice clean wiring trough. She's all buttoned up. But she's ready to go. Hard pipe. She's hard piped with her uh, with EMT, and she's got the nice battery cables. We got two sets of battery cables coming in. Fine stranded two watt. That good Cobra Flex. We got our Crown 395 amp hour six volt battery bank. We got we got it's a 48 volt six volt uh, batteries wired in series. We got six of them. The automatic watering kit and the vent fan. Just a purring. She's just a purring, sucking out that hydrogen. Don't want it in because it's nobody's friend. Dang solar, baby. Call us today. We'd love to come on down and put in another solar array for you.